Electronic Sounds Audio, the YouTube channel for you. It is 
Okay, I want to show you guys the pieces that I'm using in this jam and how I've got everything set up and routed. We're going to start with the Electron Digitone, which is actually the main sequencer for this set. And when I press play on the Digitone, I've got a MIDI signal that's going out to a MIDI Solutions Quadra through. And then out from the Quadra through, we get a signal to the Electron Model Cycles, and we get a MIDI clock signal to the Novation SLMK3 uh, MIDI controller and sequencer. And we also get a clock signal out to Beatmaker 3 running on an iPad Air 2. I'm using, let's go back here, I'm using an uh, Novation uh, Audio Hub 2x4 audio interface, which you may or may not be able to see back here. And connected to that, I've got an iRig uh, IK MIDI uh, 2 which is allowing me to get 5-pin MIDI into the iPad so that we can get MIDI clock inside of Beatmaker 3. Uh, let's see here. Uh, we've got the Digitone sending pattern changes to the model cycles so that when I change a pattern on the Digitone, it also changes a pattern automatically on the model cycles. This is the very first jam that I'm using uh, my new uh, Dreadbox Typhon synthesizer, which is absolutely an amazing sounding analog synthesizer. And I'm definitely going to be doing some videos specifically on the sounds that come out of this box. Back here for the bass, we're running uh, the Pittsburgh Modular Lifeforms SV-1B, which is actually my very first modular synthesizer, kind of hanging out back here. Um, let's see here. I'm playing the Typhon in real time live using the Novation SLMK3, and what I'm doing is I'm able to hit record on the sequencer for the SLMK3, and then I've got just an 8-bar pattern set up so that I can play the Typhon for 8 bars, and then it will automatically start looping again. I've got two different uh, sessions that I saved that have an actual, um, uh, like a favorite loop th that I played from the Typhon so that I can get back to some similar um, melodic uh, uh, elements during the jam and not have to play every single uh, melodic element from the Typhon in real time. But this definitely gives me the ability to do that live looping, which you see in the jam, using the built-in sequencer of the SLMK3. Lastly, over here, I'm using Beatmaker 3 to just add some riser sounds and some down filter sounds. I've actually programmed out a 64 bar loop, which is literally just running some crash cymbals and some uh, up like some riser samples um, every 16 bars to help the ebb and the flow stay consistent in the jam and just sort of push that forward momentum through. Last on the bottom row here, I've got those vocal samples that I'm able to trigger in real time during the jam. That's really about it for the pieces, except for one more uh, synthesizer. The Digitone is also sending MIDI uh, up here to this Novation KS rack, which I'm using to play a gated synth line. And then all of the audio of all of the pieces here is getting routed over here to this Behringer DJ mixer, which isn't a super high quality mixer per se, but it definitely gets the job done um, for me. And so that's basically what I've got set up here, and that's the routing and what we're doing. Definitely stay tuned for some more videos uh, specifically on the sound quality of this Typhon synthesizer and hopefully some videos as well as I get a little bit more familiar learning modular synthesis with this Pittsburgh Modular Lifeforms SV-1B. Thanks for watching, guys.